welcome students in the last videos we had learn required field range validator compare validator then further regular expression validator compare validator is along with the value to compare the compare validator is along with the control to compare as well as we had seen the concept over here as your custom validator also and now the last concept in validation i would like to show you that is termed as a validation group but for helping you to understand the validation group concept what i'm doing i'm planning to come here with a new page so i'm just adding a new page i don't think some practical 4a they are expecting that you should be showing the validation group but you must be knowing what are the concept of validation groups that the reason i am adding this particular add on video for all of you so here i am coming with my web form and i would be interested in working with the validation groups over here so let's start concentrating what i am expecting i am expecting two programs should be developed by me one for accepting two numbers and displaying addition and second for accepting two numbers and displaying the subtraction so i am not now planning to go for designing the form in a beautiful way i just add on one text box this is for my first number moving ahead i am adding a text box for my second number fine then i am planning to add one button when a user clicks on a button maybe i am giving a text or the button thoda to likh deta hu as add sorry add and a label will be displaying the addition contain right so this i will be giving the text as empty and a label name is what label one i just remembered that similarly i am having another form in which again i am having a uh, two text boxes this is my text box 3 followed by the another text box as text box 4 followed by one button for a subtraction so i'm just adding one button for a subtraction as well as one label for displaying the output of the subtraction fine now what i want i just remove the text of this label so label 1 and label 2 are the label for displaying the result i am completing the code of add which is quite easy it is just label 1 dot text equal to in dot parse in the bracket text box 1 dot text plus in dot parse in the bracket text box 2 dot text fine and uh, addition has to be converted in a string format so entire block i am just adding in a blocks brackets and then providing two string fine so now this is the same same code i am just repeating for my second text box also so let's try to concentrate what i'm adding in my second text box so here it comes in a subtraction and yahan pe fir maine dal diya wahi same code सिर्फ मैंने यहां पे लिखा लेबल वन के जगह पे लेबल टू और यहां पे प्लस जगह पे लिख दिया मैंने माइनस फाइन वी हैव लेबल वन लेबल टू एंड टेक्स्ट बॉक्स नेम टू बी एडेड एज टेक्स्ट बॉक्स थ्री सब्सट्रैक्टेड विद टेक्स्ट बॉक्स फोर फाइन सो द कोडिंग इज बीन कंप्लीटेड नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इंप्लीमेंट अ वैलिडेशन अ वैलिडेशन फॉर ऑल दिस फोर टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेज आर रिक्वायर्ड फील्ड वैलिडेटर आई वुड लाइक टू इंप्लीमेंट just to show you how the working has been done so just wait a minute class i am just preparing the video the long with the revision of my students only so just wait a minute ha huh. fine so now it comes uh, i would like to implement my required field validator so here it comes my required field validator error message had given a star only simply and control to validate i had mentioned over here text box 1 again i am implementing the required field validator for the text box 2 so control to validate i had mentioned over here text box 2 and error message i had mentioned as star similarly again i am providing the required field validator for the text box 3 error message i displayed as star and control to validate as text box 3 similarly i am again adding the required field validator and here again i am providing the property error message as star and a control to validate 
it will be displayed over here as text box or assigned over here as text box 4. Chalo yaar, yahan to tumhara sab karke ho gaya. Now see how the changes are happening. If I run this particular page, it will be showing me uh, all the four text boxes as well as two buttons. Now, if I'm trying to provide the value as 12 and 34 and I would like to see the addition. So, I'd given a click on add button. See what is the comedy. When I'm given the click on add button, this entire page is considered as a single form. So, when you're given a click on add button, it will be also checking the validation for the below text boxes also. And if suppose you are not entering the value in the first two text boxes, but trying to go for subtraction, then it will not be giving any issues related with these two text boxes, but the issue is started with the upper two text boxes. But what you expect, you expect that when I'm giving a click on add, these two text boxes validation should be checked, not the below given two text boxes. And if I'm giving the click on subtract, then only these two text boxes validation should be checked, not the upper two text boxes. So, in one form, two group. And for successfully completing this task, there is a concept of validation group is been implemented. Now, there is no code need to be done, only few properties need to be set. Which property and how the property should be set. Now, you decide the group name. Suppose I am giving the group name as G1 and G2. G1 for group 1, G2 for group 2. So, I go to the button. I go to the properties and in the button, you will get a property called as validation group. And inside the validation group, I had given a group name as G1 for this button 1. Now, the same G1 need to be passed for the, sorry, I had just run the program. Actually, I need to go for a property window. Thodasa. Okay, F4. A validation group over here also had mentioned as G1. Similarly, I am coming to the second validation control and here also I am providing the validation group as what here G1. Moving ahead, here it comes, I am providing the validation group over here as G2 and here also I am providing the validation group over here as G2. Similarly, for the button, I am using the validation group as G2. So, if you look at the so, these two required fields are having G1 as well as uh, the next two required fields are having G2. So, now we will try to execute this particular page. Let's see now how the output is getting displayed. Uh, you know what was happening in the earlier situation that when you are giving the click on add button, the subtraction validation has also been checked. But now, if you give a click on add, it will be only checking the validation of first two text boxes. Now, if I'm providing some value as 150 and 65, okay, addition has been executed. If I'm given a click on subtract, only these two text boxes validation has been checked. So, I had created two groups, one over here at G1 and another over here at G2. And definitely the subtraction also works properly. So, you'll find output is getting displayed. So, class, this is called as a validation group. We really were required in the validations part. So, stay tuned with us for the sake of next videos. Thanks a lot.